Hello everyone and welcome back to the third part of my autumn overhaul videos. First of all, thank you so much for all the lovely comments on the past two. I did a drugstore makeup and my autumn fashion essentials and you guys have just been so supportive about the videos and you seem to really be liking them and this video is going to be all about skincare. This is going to be the skincare products that I pull out and reach for in autumn as well as my current skincare favourites. I currently have about 10 products on my lap and I'm trying to balance them in between my legs which is going well. My favourite part of skincare in general is definitely face masks. That is like my favourite thing that I like to do. Look at myself looking weird with the little, you know, patches around my face. Either I look like a panda or a green panda or a white alien. I don't know. I cannot begin to express my obsession with this face mask here. And I can't quite put my finger on why I love it so much. And I think it's just because it's such a pleasure to apply. This is the Instant Oatmeal Mask from First Aid Beauty. First of all, it's quite cute and small for a face mask. Face masks are normally quite big. It's like putting something unbelievably soothing on your face. I've never had this kind of experience from a facial product before. As the name would kind of suggest, it is a bit oatmeal-like. It does feel like you're rubbing in tiny oats on your face. It's the kind of mask that all skin types will love. If you have dry skin, if you have combination, if you have oily, it will kind of benefit all skin types. It's labeled for sensitive skin and I find it definitely lives up to that because normally after face masks my face is not the time to be seeing people because it does that was a weird sentence but it just kind of like looks red or angry or something is going down it or it just looks like stuff has been drawn out but this just makes the skin look calm and soothed and radiant and that is exactly what I want in fall when like my skin is kind of going through that awkward transitional period I've mentioned the sanctuary spa masks before but these ones I found the other day because I went to go and repurchase this mask but I found little sachets of them. I just thought little sachet masks is such a great idea because you can travel with them. You can actually get maybe two or three uses out of one packet, but I do find that I need to like squeeze it out into some sort of like Muji pot or something. The two masks that I love are the moisture boosting mask and the five minute thermal detox mask. And these sachets are around two pounds each. The five minute thermal detox mask is my favorite. It kind of warms up on your face, but it's a great one for clearing out the blackheads on the nose and chin, any kind of congested areas. And the moisture Moisture boosting mask is a great one if your skin is looking a bit lackluster and you need a nice pump of hydration on the go. Another thing that I don't really tend to do in summer that much, but come fall and autumn time, I'm like, give me the exfoliators. And I am not a fan of liquid exfoliators at all. They really don't get on with my face and my skin. I'm much more a kind of old school girl. I like to, you know, massage and like do that kind of thing and feel the, the nitty gritty bits on my face and like scrub them against my nose and like be like yeah you go blackheads bye see ya got a bit into that got a bit into explaining about the exfoliators that was a bit too uh bit too much anyway moving on i have two exfoliators to show you guys the first one is one that i've loved for a really really long time and this is the oskia micro exfoliating balm if you like exfoliators this is unlike anything you will have ever felt on your face it's like a cleansing balm but mixed with tiny tiny little beads and you massage it into your face and it's so hydrating but it still gets away the grime that you don't want. It's gorgeous especially if you have sensitive skin or your skin gets irritated when you use an exfoliator this is definitely one to look out for and one that's really really similar is the Body Shop Aloe Gentle Exfoliator and this one is actually for sensitive skin as well. This is similar in the way that it treats your skin it's really gentle it's really kind it's not too stripping. The exfoliating beads are a bit larger and it's more of a creamy form both of them are really incredible and I honestly don't know who loves them more like me or my skin right now if I take off my makeup or if you see in my recent autumn video when I took off my makeup and I did my drugstore makeup tutorial my skin is looking dull it is looking gray and grab grab isn't a word I think I meant drab but uh, it's just not looking cute so I'm opting for a moisturizer plus a bit of self tan right now this is a new addition to my stash and this is from Olay and this is their complete care plus multi radiance moisturizing normal to dry SPF 15 cream 
Did I just read everything on here? Yes, I did. It's just a normal kind of moisturizer. Really like sinks in wonderfully. It does have a hint of fake tan biscuity smell if you're really kind of like trying to sniff your face. But I'm a weirdo and I love the fake tan biscuit smell. It just makes me happy. Not only is this a great option for keeping skin hydrated during the day and they also have a combination version as well. I have the normal to dry. It also adds a little bit of a hint of glow. Normally I put on my moisturizer and then I put on fake tan over the top but this is like a two-in-one because it has SPF 15 I only use this in the day and then on night on night in the night I will use this Caudalie oil so you guys know I love my oils I love my cleansing oils I love my moisturizing hydrating overnight oils I just love oil okay and I'm very happy to put oil on my face I used to actually be quite scared of oils but I realized that oily skin plus oil actually equals less oil and it kind of helps balance everything out rather than help make you produce more oil. This is my latest favorite and except the scent which is a bit kind of like grassy for me. It's not really a dry face oil like I'm used to. It's a really slippery lightweight oil so it definitely looks like you've got oil on your face rather than other ones or something that just sink in really easily. In terms of like calming skin, evening out skin tone and like decreasing the amount of like anger there is on my skin and by anger I mean like redness, blemishes, just when skin isn't really happy. Maybe I've taken off and put on makeup up too many times that day or something it just like soothes it and calms everything down keeps everything nice and hydrated and just kind of keeps everything in check like make sure the blemishes are at bay the redness is at bay the hydration is where it needs to be it's just like a really great all-rounder the last thing I want to mention is something for the under eye area this is a recent favorite of mine this is the Garnier five second perfect blur and I am poking the nozzle at you sorry about that this is essentially a primer for your under eye area but it is so smoothing that it is just incredible. I don't really have that many like fine lines or anything yet under my eyes but it just smooths over everything, makes sure the surface looks nice and even. I do get quite a few kind of like little millier bumps and it just like smooths over them, makes my concealer apply so much nicer on the top. You know after like a day and you come home and everything on your face looks a bit crusty, like my concealer definitely under my eyes sometimes looks a bit crusty and it's settled into the fine lines this basically helps prevent that so these are my current skincare favorites and all the products I will be reaching for this autumn if you guys haven't seen part one and two of my autumn overhaul I will link part one here which was my drugstore makeup look and part two here which was my fashion style essentials so I'm just gonna let those linger on the screen for a while if you click one it will take you straight to the video I'll also leave a playlist in the information box below of all my skincare videos so all my morning and evening skincare routines that I've previously done. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for another autumn overhaul video and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Before she arrives she just goes, by the way I'm not wearing underwear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have underwear on all day. <laughs> I tried it on with this jumpsuit thing. <laughs>